course, back here at home, it's been busy as well. We told folks this last night, the Gaston County Board of Commissioners chairman signed a state of emergency for the county as first responders are working to clear the roads and provide help to people in need. And we know that sometimes the federal government will help people, but the big question still lingering for folks that need that help is who exactly qualifies for FEMA money? WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg joining us in the studio today to verify that for us. Meg? Yeah, and to verify, we went straight to FEMA for this. This is our source right here. We went to their website to get answers to these questions. And first, we're asking if if it's required by law, um, if a major disaster happens, FEMA will come in if it is declared, if a major disaster comes in. But here we go. The first question, if you are a renter, can you get FEMA assistance? Yes, you can actually. And people who qualify for this, they um, are renters. They're not just homeowners. FEMA does a great job with uh, helping with that. Okay, so let's take a look at the next, next question. If you have insurance, FEMA will help. And that is false. According to their website, it says if you do have insurance, they can still, um, you can still apply for FEMA assistance, but you must file an insurance claim as well. Now, FEMA can help with expenses your insurance covers. And finally, can the claim, if you receive a grant from FEMA, it has to be paid back. Well, that is also false. In most cases, those grants do not have to be paid back. However, if you have insurance that covers temporary housing costs and FEMA gives you an advance on some money while your insurance is processing, you do not need to pay that. You do need to pay that money back to FEMA, actually. Guys? All right, some good stuff there, especially as we are in the heart of this severe weather season. Thank you so much, Meg.